Oh, I can see the little record button. Nice. Is it there? Cool. It is. Awesome. Hi, uh, my name's Eric Townsend, and this is the mobile business and technology page. Uh, we are uh, doing this interview today with Ryan Lipsy, and the reason why we're doing the interview today is to learn more about businesses and how they're operating uh, their business mobily, how they're doing it remotely as a result of the coronavirus, the coronavirus pandemic. And we're trying to see what tools they're using, what technology they're using, and to basically get a feel for how they're still uh, servicing their clients. So that's why we're bringing on Ryan, Mr. Lipsy today. Uh, Ryan's a great guy. I've known Ryan for a long, long time. Uh, he is a business leader. He's definitely a community leader. He's one of those guys you know if you reach out to him, he can connect you with just about anybody. And I know that he's still doing a lot of business, even with this downturn, uh, because he has to. Uh, you know, he's like a lot of business owners where they just can't stop doing what they're doing. Uh, Ryan's with Tycor Title, uh, one of the best title insurance companies in the nation. And so I wanted, or the best title insurance company in the nation. Oh, thanks, Eric. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get into it with Ryan. First of all, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Eric. It's an honor, man. It's uh, kind of some crazy times we're living in. This is my kid's playroom that's now like a makeshift <laughs> office. That's one of the mobile changes we've made during coronavirus anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yep. It's, it's a crazy new world we're in for sure. It looks like a comfortable setting though for business. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, I got five or six other roommates here that don't pay rent, uh, that otherwise known as family. Yeah, so they might be cruising through at any given time. I apologize for that, but that's just kind of the office surroundings that we live in these days. Yeah, absolutely. I know my dogs are going to bark at some point during this uh, interview, so I hope uh, I hope the audience isn't too uh, concerned about that. I don't think they will be. No, hopefully not. <laughs> so I wanted to jump into this. Uh, I know you're still doing business, so I know you're still doing trying to keep things as normal as possible. You were talking a little bit before when I first discussed doing this meeting about, you know, what you're in control of and being in control of things. Can you, can you explain a little bit more about what you're talking about in regards yeah, to that? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I, I mean, I've been on what, 55 different Zoom calls since last <laughs> week and um, it's like a Zoom life now. And, you know, a lot of it, you see a lot of negative mindset, a lot of fear-based thinking going on and people preoccupying themselves with what the summer housing market or what summer business or what real estate's going to look like in the fall. And I just think that that though it's useful to prepare is a waste of our energy to spend time in the future where we can't enact any change. And to me being present and just tackling the thing, the next thing in front of us, as simplistic as that might sound, there's a piece in that because I do have control over my initiative you know, or my intention, my attention, and my attitude is what I just went over with my team this morning. Make sure your attention is, matches your intention. So you're focusing on the things you want to get done and that you can choose to have a good attitude. You know, you can choose to find the good and the positive and in uh, and, and the silver lining, I guess, in any situation. That's great. I have the same. I mean, I think everybody that's going through this right now, the shutdown, what we're going through, I think there's a lot of fear. And so it's great to hear perspectives like that because I think that's really good. Uh, we can't yeah. be fearful forever. It is, you know, and it's a slippery slope and I have my moments just like you, I'm sure you do, Eric, and we have small children and we have more than just us to worry about. So yeah, there's fear in that. And, but there's a good fear that can stimulate you to action to, to help you overcome and to push through those um, but then there's an unhealthy fear that we're fighting battles in the past or the future that we really can't enact change. And so trying to stay present, trying to keep focused on things that you can control right now, like your attitude, your intention and your attention, then I think really is the game changer. That's great. Yeah. Everybody's fighting those personal battles, but yeah, we got to stay on top of it somehow. Yeah. So, uh, you know, getting into this a little bit, the reason, the whole reason why, you know, this channel was created was to really get a feel for how businesses are working remotely. You know, we're kind of in a new normal with this whole coronavirus and it's probably going to, even after the coronavirus is gone, it's likely that this is going to remain. I think that the, the mobile business and being remote is going to be something that continues in business because there's some real benefits to it. There's obviously downsides and there's things that are negative about it, but there's good sides about it too. So I wanted to discuss with you, how are you continuing doing business? 
uh, what are the good things, what are the bad things, and you know, for the things that are good about it, uh, that's great. But for the things that are bad about it, if you have any thoughts on how you're planning on attacking those things, I'd love to hear it. And so would the audience, so we can learn more about, you know, so everybody can learn better ways to make their businesses yeah. remote. Well, you know, thank you. That's a great question. And I, I see a lot of changes. I see the landscape of the way we do business shifting. And some of these will be gone the moment that, you know, we're no longer quarantining. And some of these, I think, will have a lasting lingering effect. Like I knew and was familiar with Zoom and FaceTiming prior to this, but man, I'm an expert now. I can even do like the outer space background if I really want to. <laughs> um, so I, I can see doing like team huddles more frequently because we don't have to all be in the same boardroom or signing room at Tycor in Mission Valley to have a meeting. We can do it. If somebody's in Europe, we can still have a quick team huddle. Or So I really like that aspect. It's very, very uh, empowering and freeing. Oh, well done. Like that. Sir. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. I hope I can travel to a place like that sometime in 2020, like Aruba or something. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, it's fun what you could do with it. That's for you know, sure. I mean, stuff like that. You know, you can interject personality in ways that we couldn't in other mediums, right? Like you just made a, a joke without saying a word, and that was awesome. <laughs> um, so I think there's a lot of cool, un, unforeseen benefits of this. But really business, whether you're selling something or you're doing the fulfillment of a contract or what have you, um, or taking on a case, you know, it's about connection and human connection. I think that a lot of the technology that allows us to have widespread connection, uh, like for instance, when we were off camera, we were talking about direct messaging on social platforms and still getting voice to voice and how technology can further those types of uh, activities that's what I've been leaning into, you know, utilizing my CRM to get maximum messaging and, and outreach to our customer base to let them know we're okay and we're still closing deals and, and kind of let them know that we're here if they just need a friend. And it's been inc incredibly empowering, uh, the tech side of things. I mean, do I miss going in and, and having lunch and coffee and hanging out and, and happy hours? Sure. But I, I, I know in my heart that we'll get back to that. So in the meantime, this has really opened up my eyes to a lot of the potential of a mobile business. Cool. How's your team reacting to, how's your employees and the team and everybody at Tycho reacting to the, to this new normal during the, uh, during the shutdown? Well, you know, we have uh, a skeleton crew at the brick and mortar um, fulfilling and closing out files, but about 60% of Tycho is working remote. And yeah, I mean, last week and prior was about transition. It was, there were tons of difficulties in getting computers set up and that type of stuff. But now I think we're all have been more or less transitioned. Um, my immediate team, you know, it, it takes a toll on, on the salesperson. The salesperson's psychology is kind of fragile at times. And so us salespeople, me and Haley are more the forward facing. We're, we're missing our clients. We're missing our daily routines. And, but I've created new routines and, and that's how we've gotten through it. That's the punchline is we ran into a, a blockade here. So we just kind of um, course corrected and we're able to adapt. But my admin staff, they're, you know, they remain more or less unchanged. They miss kind of getting away from the baby at home or, or spending time in a different physical surrounding, but they've made do and are still able to work at a high level from their kitchen table, just like as if they were at their work desk. That's great. That's really cool. I got to tell you, I'm enjoying this right now because I haven't seen you probably in three or four months. And just being able to see you on video alone is pretty, pretty cool. Just to have yeah. a little interaction from my normal home life, which is I'm also stuck at the house too right now. So are, we're all are right now. And you look, yeah. you look like you've been, uh, you've been running up and down that hill over at uh, Cal's <laughs> Mountain quite a bit. You're looking pretty lean, my friend. Try to. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> you as well. You as well. You've been looking that way for a while though. I've just been following, right. uh, following you, man. Trying to be yeah, like Ryan. You know, at 43, you got to do the best you can, man. No Twinkies <laughs> and mix in some Peloton. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I do it. I don't have a Peloton, but I know, I, yeah, you got to stick with it, right? For sure. Let me ask you this. Um, you know, now that uh, we, you know, the being out and about, you know, not really allowed right now, we're, we're stuck at home, um, you know, which could be a good thing in some ways for mobile businesses. Have you seen that as a benefit in any way to you? I mean, obviously, one of the obvious ways is time, like clearly, you know, uh, having additional time on your hands, not driving around town has to be a benefit. 
as you know, what kind of benefits are you seeing from it? You know, uh, commuting, uh, I, I'm in Carlsbad and I office out of Mission Valley. So right there is a half an hour to an hour 15, depending on traffic. Um, you know, and I, I supplement with audiobooks and podcasts and, and phone calls on the road also, obviously. But, you know, it takes away from undiverted focus to the task at hand. So I, driving is a big one. And I think that I had, I had 60, I, I was a member rather of a 60 person Zoom call this morning. And man, wh where else can you go and just have a, a 60 person meeting? So that's super efficient. 60 um, person meeting. What was that all about? What kind of, was that for a Tycor? It was a mastermind with real, San Diego Real Producers. It's a local magazine publication here in town that features like top producing realtors and whatnot. So it's wow. like a mastermind kind of like this. How have you pivoted your business to adjust to these times? Um, so it was very apropos to this conversation. But yeah, I was kind of, you know, you can scroll and see all the attendees and 62 or something attendees. And I was blown away. That's maximum efficiency. I mean, I hope I'm top of mind with those individuals that they saw my little bubble, you know, and yeah. so that's a good benefit. I mean, I think you lose a little bit of the, the belly to belly, so to speak, that the personal contact, but um, it's not bad. Video is not a bad substitute. It's just not quite in-person contact, but I'll take it for now. Man, you're like one of those, you're like a ball of energy. You're like a, you're like other people's battery. Like when they're, when they're <laughs> running low on energy, they just, you know, have a chat with you. And then, you know, you're, you just have that presence that, uh, you know, you bring energy to any kind of uh, activity. And that's always something I'd like to, you know, I've liked about you. So it's, uh, I'm yeah, sure they all appreciated it too at the meeting. I'm sure it was good. Well, to I, I, I don't know if it's a gift or a curse, but yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's a gift for a you, mood. man. It's a gift for you for sure. You love it. So. I love it. I live it. It's <laughs> real. It's not a gimmick. It's not uh, something I take. It's, I've been gifted with this thing inside of me. I don't have to have any external influence to get here. And so, yeah, I mean, I found it a little weird that I was offered to like be on 10 different team meeting calls. Like the first week they're like, Hey, we just need you. I'm like, well, what can I talk about? They're like, no, we just need you. <laughs> so I'm just going to lean into it. You know, I'm, I'm available. I'm available for calls. <laughs> You're a good guy, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're doing it for your Thanks, clients. Eric. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, very cool, it's, man. I'm, it's a pleasure and an honor, so I'm happy to. Yeah, well, thank you for doing the show. There's going to be a lot of a lot of people out there, a lot of businesses that need to pivot into this stuff and need to start doing this. So they're going to need to know how to do these things. So it's great that you guys that you're describing some of the things that you're doing, how you're using this to benefit, you know, to make sure you can still run and operate during the the crisis. What's going on with this pandemic? So thanks again yeah. for being on here. This is going to be a wealth of knowledge for, for businesses out there that are trying to run it. And anybody that's looking for businesses that are still operating during this downturn, you know, look for, look for Ryan, look for Ryan Lipsy with Tycor title. You know, he's still in business, you know, he's still operating even during the downturn uh, where other companies may not be. He is. So keep that in mind. So thank yeah, you again, Ryan. It out. Yeah. I, thank you for having me. And I would just say, you know, consider the, the audience and, and how, who you're talking to and what their hopes and their dreams and their fears are and make your content address those things. So it's hard to get out of self and into your customer base, but that's what we try to do. And I think that that's the most effective method, especially on social media and stuff. So this is great, Eric. Perfect. Cool. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it, man. Right. If you have any other thoughts too, let me know. And uh, I can, I'm always going to be doing posts and other things. So if you ever want to post some more information or if you do a video or something, about this or something else you want me to post just let me know and i'll post it right on man we will do cool all right ryan well i'll let you get back to the family and uh thanks again for being on i appreciate it you got it man i'll see you on the sequel oh <laughs> awesome <laughs> see you man okay bye